In this video, I want to show you a really, really cool pack that Motion VFX just released called the Emroto AI Reveal Pack. So this is a new pack they just released. So these are instant effects. So there's 50 different ways to style your masks. So here you can kind of preview them and just see what you can do with this really, really cool pack. You have your clip here and you want to add another clip on top that you want to reveal next. In this case, I have this clip here. So you would just drag whatever clip is going to be coming next right above our clip like this. And you would go over to the effects and it's the M Roto AI expansions. There's 50 items in here. They're absolutely amazing. So the one that I've added was the HUD or the HUD display. So if you scroll down, you're going to have the HUD display frame. So the way that these work is you would just select one of them and drag them directly onto your clip. So you can just move the playhead anywhere in the timeline where you can see your subjects that you want to mask. In this case, I want to mask out future and the car. And when I say future, I'm talking about the artist here in case you are not familiar with him. You would go ahead and just click and drag. And I like to do kind of like like squiggly lines. I'm going to undo that. That was pretty bad of <laughs> a selection, but I'm going to go and do something like that. Make sure you select the car. So this works the exact same same way as the Emroto. So I'm going to just select the car like this. So everything in blue is what's going to be masked out or selected or tracked. So click on the tracker button and track forwards because we're at the beginning of our clip. So just track forwards. A new window will show you how many frames are being currently tracked and this does it in real time. So you don't have to do it manually. So it just finished and here's the result. Everything in blue is masked out. So what we want to do now is just go over to where it says output. So I'm going to change the output to mass video so we can see the clip beneath. And now you can see your effects underneath and that's all you have to do. You literally are saving a significant amount of time adding effects to your music video clips in case you don't want to take too much time on a project or you want to do something really quick. This is an excellent way of doing it. And again, you can customize all of the settings here. You can turn some presets on or off and then the footage colorize highlights. So anything that's in the bright areas is going to be blue. So maybe you want to change that to like yellow or red. You can do that and anything in white or the shadows you can change as well. So you can do something like this and then go back and you're done. Like you don't have to redo this all over again, which is super cool. And the cool thing is that you have animation in and an animation out. This pretty much animates in, as you can see, you can turn that off. So it starts right away. Turn the other one off. So animation out is unchecked and your effect will look like this. The next one is going to be this one which is a title that kind of masks out your subject. This works better with an actual person. It doesn't have to be a person. It can be really anything, but I think it just looks better with the person, if that makes sense. This one is called the titles here. So if I delete it, this is what it looks like before. So same exact process. You would have your clip underneath with some B-roll or something, and then your main clip uh, on top that you wanna mask out. Go into the plugin itself. This one here somewhere, here it is. So you just drag that again onto your clip. You would then, make a selection of your subject as best as you can. It does use AI to make your selection. Like it does a really good job actually. There's some areas where you can erase. If you hold option and you paint over your area that you wanna remove, it will remove it. So holding option and dragging will remove that part of the selection from the mask. And then just hit tracker again, track forwards, and this will track your subject. Okay, so it's almost finished. And here is our finished result looks really, really good. So now we're gonna switch the output to mass video and now you have your effect complete. So it takes care of the rest for you and all you have to do now to change the text is go down in the settings as well. So each preset has its own settings. So, but you will change like where it says title one text. Instead of it saying create, I'm gonna change the text to the name of the music video. In this case, it's called Teflon Don and title to text, I'm gonna name Don. So now you can see the text coming in. And if you wanna change the font, just go up to where it says title one font. The default is set to Bem is new if you have that one, but I'm gonna go down and select Berth Berthold Askedent's Grotesque, amazing font by the way. And then title one size, I'm gonna decrease the size. I'm gonna change the second title as well. So I'm gonna change the font on that one to my favorite font. And then uh, you're pretty much done. Of course, you can change the color here. If you just go to title two color and you do like maybe you want red and then for, I mean, I would probably change the color because it's on a white background for this video. So I might want to do something kind of like this just to kind of change it up a, a little bit. So the third effect or transition, you can use this as a transition too if you don't overlay them. This is called the teleport beam. So add that onto your clip, you mask it out. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to just skip it 
because I've already done that. But when you do mask it out, it will add this effect here. And I just enabled the animation in and disabled animation out. So it creates a different look. So this is gonna be the default. Now, if you uncheck animation out, it's going to look a little bit different. You can then change the animation direction. You can do have it coming from the left or change the direction coming from the right side. So let's say you want the teleport beam with maybe the scribble effect. You can actually do that and you don't have to keyframe it again, which is absolutely insane. So you can pile on effects if you really want to. So maybe you want to add the matrix one on here. You can create a really intense effect like this. Let's see what it will look like on this one. So maybe we want to do kaleidoscope. So you can do an insane effect like this, where it's just creating like a kaleidoscope effect. Maybe for this one, maybe you want to add a display glitch on top of HUD clip. You can do that as well. You can stack multiple presets onto each other. You can move the clips around. You can stack them on top. You can duplicate them again. This just saves you a lot of time really. And that's what I love about this pack. I would personally use this on my own projects. I don't review anything that I don't find interesting on this channel. So that's uh, just a, a point that I wanna make. If you guys found this video helpful and maybe you want to do, you know, apply it to your own projects, check the link in the description. Be sure to leave a like and I'll catch you guys next time.